what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is um, Proverbs chapter 9, verse 6, which says, Forsake the foolish and live and go in the way of understanding. Well, several things with just that one sentence. First of all, forsake the foolish. Well, what's the foolish? First of all, that's, you know, your own foolishness. Your, you know, the things that you do that are foolish or that I do that are foolish. And we each know what our foolishness is, you know? Let's um, talk about it a lot, but it's what we are, um, the things we shouldn't be doing, the things we shouldn't be viewing, the entertainment we shouldn't be entertaining ourselves with, the, uh, uh, you know, all of the different things that we're doing that we know um, is not good for us, that is foolish, um, that are keeping the lights off in our life, really, so to speak. And it's not just our foolishness, it is the fools that we're hanging around with. We probably know who those people are too. We're supposed to, uh, you know, they also dim the lights uh, for us. So we need to forsake all of the foolishness that is in our life and live. That is what the word says. When we forsake the foolish, whatever that is, whoever that is, our life will change. We will have lives worth living. Um, the next thing it says, and go in the way of understanding. Well, how do we get this understanding? You read a little further down in the chapter and you get down to, which is again, chapter nine of Proverbs. Verse 10 says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. And then if you go uh, read Proverbs 28, 5, it says, They that seek the Lord understand all things. So it is in our fear of the Lord, in the obedience of the Lord, of our coming to the Lord, seeking the Lord, being in his word, um, asking the Spirit, because this is his job, one of them, to lead us into all truth, that is where understanding is. That is where life is. That is where wisdom is. That is where growth is. That's where um, our knowledge starts to come and, and, and inspiration and revelation. And then God, first of all, in the word, this is where wisdom is at. And then he will also, where, he will also lead us into, into the other wisdom and the knowledge and the learning that we need to be absorbing so then that we can turn around that, that wisdom is not just for us, that knowledge and understanding is not just for us. It is those, it's for the people around us that need, need us mm -hmm. to be filled so that we can fill them. Um, and that starts with him. That starts at Jesus' feet. That starts by seeking him. That starts with the fear of the Lord. That's where our wisdom and understanding comes from. Um, if we if we go to the, the beginning of verse of chapter nine, it says, "Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn out her seven pillars. She's killed her beast. She has mingled her wine. She has also furnished her table, and she has sent forth her maidens that are crying upon the highest places of the city." It's saying. Wisdom is out there calling for you. It's seeking you. It's not hard to find if you go and look for it. Um, it, it it's crying out for you to forsake the foolish and seek what is going to build you, grow you, help you to live so that you can help others live. So we, you know, God, oh, the next verse here, where it was talking about the, the table is furnished. God's table is before you. He's furnished his table. It is before you. And it is waiting. He's waiting for you to come to that furnished table, to that feast that he has for you. You're not going to find it out there. We're all out there trying to fill our cup, so to speak. You know, we're looking for ways to fill that emptiness, to fill that hole, and it's not out there. He's begging. Wisdom is calling out for us to come and get it where you're going to find it, which again is it by seeking him. That's where this table is going to be at, this, this furnished with all the goodness 
that we're seeking for in all of the wrong places. So come to him. Forsake the foolish, your foolishness, the people around you. You're going to find wisdom in what you've been looking for, that furnished table, at his feet.